Beats Bunny, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get that fabulous mermaid hair that I've been rocking very frequently in both videos on here and on my Instagram page, and I've got lots of requests to do a tutorial for it. So today is going to be like a demo instructional video on how to get summery mermaid hair, and all you have to do is chop off your legs, sew on a fin, and begin a life at sea. Ha ha ha! I've had too much coffee. <sighs> Let's get started. Let's get sassy. Like I said, today's video is going to be a demo video because uh, it takes me over an hour and 45 minutes to do all of my hair. This is all my natural hair. It has thankfully grown out a lot and I have a lot of layers in it. So I don't think anyone wants to see me like just do this over and over and over and over again for two hours. Step one I highly recommend is to start off with semi clean hair. I usually think second or third day after washing hair is the best because we have to use hot tools to get this look and hot tools can be damaging on hair so if your hair has a little bit of natural oil in it it's gonna help be a barrier against like frying your hair also, optionally, you can use a heat protectant spray. And if you want really, really beachy looking waves, I do recommend starting out with a sea mist spray. This one has been my favorite one for a couple months now. Unfortunately, I don't really know where you can get it anymore. I found this one at Urban Outfitters last year, and it's by John Masters Organics. But it smells a little bit like lavender. It's very nice. So I washed my hair not yesterday, but day before, and I've sprayed this in it. Great. Okay. Um, also, I recommend if you have long hair or layered hair, it's easiest. Oh, here's Johnny. Uh, it is easiest to do this by pulling your hair up by sections so that you can do it kind of piece by piece or area by area. So I'm giving myself such a sassy half updo, half down do right now. Oh yes, down do. Mmm, so sassy, so sassy. The two tools that you can do this with I got from Sally's and they are both decently inexpensive in my opinion and they are both by the brand Golden Hot. So uh, the one that I have been using most frequently is this one which is the smaller one. If you want looser, beachier, kind of less crimpier looking hair you can use this one which is this but in jumbo size. So this one was around $28 and this one I think was like $32 or $34 somewhere in that general area. Both, I think, pretty reasonably priced. The other thing that I want to say is a word of caution. If you have a heat protectant glove like this, they come with a lot of the clipless curling irons or just various hair tools. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to put this glove on here because even this little thing that you have to press it down to make it work. The underside of it is metal so it gets really hot. So I just want to caution you guys to be very very careful and not burn yourself. I used to have one of these years ago and I swear I gave myself like a third degree burn on my hand. It was not pleasant. So I'm just gonna do like a couple pieces of each on each different side so you guys can kind of see what the thick one versus the thin one is. If you, my goodness, if you have shorter hair, this is going to be so quick and so easy. I recommend that you do it this side up where you can see the two fingered prongs and not the other way where it's smooth because what you're going to be doing is clipping it in like this and I rest it anywhere from about 10 to 15 seconds. That's why it's such a time consuming process. The longer you leave it in one spot, the more wavy it will be and the longer the style will last in your hair. After about 10 to 15 seconds, see how it's made this three part wave. You're just gonna pick this up and right where the last one left off, you scoot it down and place it again. 
Yes! And you sit here like this for many hours. Maybe you can see already it's creating a nice little rippled effect. And you guys know or may not know, I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm really fond of crimping. And this is almost like crimping, except for it's a little bit of a softer effect because crimping kind of makes like a square pointy shape in your hair, while this obviously makes a wavy shape in your hair. I can leave my hair like this usually for about four to five days and the waves will still be in it. So then if I pull my hair up or like do a braid, which I'm too incompetent to do, but if you know how to braid your hair, like it's just gonna add a nice extra layer of texture to your hair. So I just do this all over my head, like all of the hair. Uh, and that is literally all you have to do. This is the wave with the small barrel. Once again, this is what you guys have seen me wear and I'll insert a clip now. So uh, this is all I do all over my whole head of hair. Very easy. Also, I forgot to mention to you guys when you are washing your hair during this process, especially if it's a style that you want to do for a couple weeks back to back, make sure that you are putting a conditioner or a heavy conditioning hair mask in your hair when you are shampooing it because these kinds of tools like crimpers, stuff like this, they are so much more damaging to the hair than a straightener. But if you condition and don't overdo it, you'll be fine. The smaller one only has two heat settings. You can do low or high and I have really thick hair so I always select high. This one has a lot more options. You can go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this one scares me a little bit more when I use it because is it kind of it opens up a lot more as you can see and just the propensity of me burning my face or my neck or something like that vastly goes up. If you don't have a lot of experience with straighteners, curlers, crimpers, and stuff like that, I would definitely advise starting out with the smaller one versus this larger one. As you guys can see, I'm struggling even now. Also, you can't get that close to your head with this one because you will burn the snot out of yourself and it will not be a pleasurable experience for anyone. Obviously, this one also takes a lot less time because you are obviously curling or waving a lot more hair at once. Do you see the smoke rising from my hair? Do not be alarmed. That is leave-in conditioner. I'm not like frying my hair. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's what happens when you put in a heat protectant spray or something like that because it's kind of like burning off the product instead of your hair. Also, this one kind of has a little bar. Well, it doesn't kind of have it. It does. So you can slide the bar in place and then it doesn't just pop open and kill everyone. So this is the crimpier one, the crimpier one, with the smaller wand and this is the larger beachier one and obviously it looks much different than this when you have your whole head done but basically I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that these are two of my newest favorite tools. I think they are perfect for upcoming summer weather when you're gonna be hanging out on the beach and stuff like that. Definitely very romantic looks. I hope this video was helpful to some people and I hope it at least answers the question of what I've been using to get my fabulous mermaid hair. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.